everybody, we're the Babes of Bourbon. I am Megan Rudder. And I am Eric Rudder. And... and... <laughs> we never know who's going to say it. We should probably arrange that ahead of time. Yes. But let the apple flow. So Eric, what are we doing today? Um, We're doing like a little MGP taste off. Um, So we have four bottles of different MGP bourbon that um, one this Remus that we haven't had on the channel yet is um, MGP's own um, brand and they're the ones that distill it, bottle it, put it out for sale. Um, and then we have three others. Um, one is Bell Mead Reserve. Mm -hmm. um, I, technically, this is still MGP. I think it might be getting taken over by Bardstown. Mm -hmm. But this bottle for sure right here is um, MGP. For the time being. Yep. Um, I believe it's 108 proof. 108.3. I was close. <laughs> um, and then we have Penelope, which is 116-ish proof. And we have Smoke Wagon, um, which is 100 proof the small batch. What's the proof on the Remus? It's 94. Okay. So this is going to be interesting in our opinion because we love all four of these bottles. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they all have different proofs um, and also different ages. I think this one is the second highest proof and the most age if I had to guess. So it's probably the favorite to win, but it'll be interesting to see what happens here. <laughs> Let's see, because Bellmead is one of my favorites. Um, but I love Penelope. I really like Joe Tremus, and I really mm -hmm. like Smoke Wagon. So it's like, <laughs> that's why we wanted to do this one blind. And we're not going to rank them all because, honestly, no one deserves fourth place. They're all great, but we do want to see which our favorite of the four is. Yep, so if we're ever at the store and we have to decide between one of the four bottles... We know which one to pick, though. Yeah, this is more for us than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're budget conscious. <laughs> Not us. No. Yeah, we are. Um, oh, shoot, what was I going to say? Oh, um, GP. And then, you know, just for anyone that may or may not be familiar with MGP, um, they... Mm -hmm they sell a lot of whiskey and a lot of bourbon to companies to then distill and bottle themselves. So they make the white dog, mm -hmm. they make the actual liquor, and then usually ship it off for other people to age and do what they want. But, you know, George Remus being their own brand, they also do age it themselves and bottle, like Eric was saying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, honestly, sometimes people have like a bad rep, like, oh, that company didn't make it them, they didn't distill it themselves before they packaged it and whatever and aged it. But you know what? I think that's silly <laughs> because MGP is an excellent um, liquor to start with. I'm so lost in the words <laughs> right now. Should we get started? Yes. Um, yeah. The biggest complaint that I've heard about this is that it's not like the best looking bottle, but whatever. Looks like a bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if the juice inside is good, that's all I care about. Yeah. And we have these in the same order Eric poured them, where I don't know which number they were, and then I like switch the numbers, mm -hmm. which he doesn't know what I switched, so. I like this nose. Mm -hmm. I'm getting some like honey, some floral, caramel, vanilla, vanilla, maybe a slight bit of smokiness. If I had to guess, based on nose, this may be George Remus. I'm not sure. But I, I could be wrong. I usually <laughs> am with blinds. <laughs> well, the other tricky part is they're all the same distillate for the most part. They do, so MGP does have a lot of different um, mash bills, and I'm not I'm pretty sure these aren't all the same mash bill. Mm -hmm. I know the Penelope's four grain and the other ones aren't. So they are going to have a little variety there. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see all the differences. Mm -hmm. Definitely has good flavor. Mm -hmm. Smooth. It's got a bit of a bit. A bit <laughs> of a kick of heat. Guys, we just got back to work today after a bit of a break. 
and I had about, uh, was it seven hours with like my lunch in between of just back to back to back to back meetings. So I talked a lot today, <laughs> and I think my brain has just flipped the switch, <laughs> my hand is no longer functioning. So on this one, I am getting a lot of vanilla and baking spices mm -hmm. are the two prominent um, tasting notes I'm picking up on this. I agree with that. I almost feel there is just a touch, like the slightest little sprinkle of smokiness in the back. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean I can get smoke wagon. Um, maybe the Penelope? Mm -hmm. But I also, we haven't actually had the Penelope or the smoke wagon in quite some time. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not like super familiar with their flavors. But that, I mean, that was really good. It's really good. It's sort of like your standard bourbon that has a lot of good notes and yeah. tastes pretty good. Well, I'm going to put it out front because it's in the lead right now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <Yes. laughs> Ready for number two? I, did um, you take a sip? I did. Okay. I'm going to take another sip. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Wow, that nose on this one is totally different. Much more subtle in comparison mm -hmm. to like the first bourbon that we had. I'm trying to get a lot from it. Go ahead. More caramel notes on this one. But Did, like a distinct caramel, which I can't place. I get what you're saying. Almost like a toffee nut caramel. Mm -hmm. um, I will say too, the first one had a much bolder nose than this mm -hmm. one, but this is also very pleasant. Mm -hmm. For the nose, I would say I enjoy this one slightly more. Do you? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the first one a little bit more. I'm almost getting a little nuttiness on this, like that toffee, caramely nuttiness is coming through drinking it. I need to take another sip. Mm. Give it that good old Kentucky chew. I could be wrong, but I feel like this one is a higher proof than the prior. Mm -hmm. Like the... Heat and the flavor kind of sits in the middle of your tongue and then like spreads out to the side. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what is the chemical makeup of this that like different <laughs> bourbons like react in different ways. Maybe Al that's just me. Alcohol. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. But why is that alcohol different from this alcohol? <laughs> you brat. <laughs> um. <laughs> This one, I feel like, has a bolder punch to it. Mm -hmm. And the finish is much longer lasting than the first one. Like you guys saw when I took my last sip, I'm just now feeling some warmth spreading in my chest. The flavors are definitely much different on this one than the first one. I, I'm getting more nutty flavor out of this one. 100% agree. And I do agree that it's probably slightly more alcohol burn in there see this is really hard because i feel like this one might be the bell mead and i mm -hmm. feel like this one might be the penelope mm -hmm. i'm not sure i like both of them a lot oh this is hard i think right now i liked the first one slightly more than the second one but i'm also going to before i pick my final one taste them in re like reverse order mm -hmm. Just to make sure that it wasn't like the first bourbon affecting this, the other. Absolutely. But they're both really good. I, for temporary, I am going to do the same thing where I go in reverse order. Put number two in front of number one. I really like the nuttiness mm -hmm. and the, all the flavors that are coming in and mm -hmm. that finish. So, are you ready for number three? I am. I just caught, there's a window over there and I caught sight of our cute little <laughs> neighbor's dog. Very fluffy. <laughs> Got momentarily distracted <laughs> by the floof. This nose is a little lighter. I feel like the first nose was the boldest, and now we're kind of going down with mm -hmm. boldness. I'm getting some honey there, some floral notes again. I agree with that. And a, a touch of caramel. 
I'm guessing all of these are going to have that touch of caramel because... I feel like this one has a, like, um, a big honey nose mm -hmm. to me. Like a very floral, wild honey. Mm-hmm. But not gonna lie, most of the time that I smell honey or smell floral, it I do smell like a wildflower honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, gotta take a sip. I'm getting a lot more grain off of this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is Penelope. If I had a guess, my first initial thought was this is Penelope. Mm -hmm. because it has that lighter nose it has the, the little more grainy flavor so it's not aged quite as long as mm -hmm. the other three but the flavors are still there and still very good mm -hmm. um i'm getting the honey the oak mm -hmm. um a little bit of smokiness mm -hmm. and i really like the finish on this one mm -hmm. as i'm sitting with it for a little bit longer. Like this one is very pleasant on the palate. Um, I mean, obviously it tastes good, but not only does it, you know, it tastes like bourbon. Um, the grains, when it's like dissipating your mouth and the flavor, it has a very, I don't know, it's not like an oily mouth feel, mm -hmm. but it's really coating the palate nicely, where I think this one has the best finish in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It has a very good finish. Um... The initial taste, I am getting a little more of that green, so, um, mm -hmm. it's still very good. Yeah. Like, very good. Yeah. It'll be interesting on the way back. It will. <laughs> mm. Also, I've just been, like, staring at the Penelope bottle because there are these just beautiful flowers etched onto the front mm -hmm. of them that are just very full, and they're really pretty. Um... <laughs> If you guys see me just like staring off into the distance, that's that's what I've been looking at. <laughs> hmm. Well, this nose is very good. Yeah, I like this one a lot. What I'm do you getting... get? Caramel? Caramel. Vanilla. And a little oakiness. You know, I think this is off base. But I get like the like slightest bit of peach on this nose. Hmm. Interesting. Like with the caramel. Like you know how peach doesn't have like a super distinct smell? But like just a little bit of something? That's what mm. I'm getting at the end of this. I wouldn't know. I've ate about two peaches in my life. So. <laughs> I can't wait for sometimes. I do get a little bit of fruit, I'll give you that. I don't know if it's a peach or something else, but yeah, I do get a little fruit smell in I there. I don't know if it's a peach either, but for some reason, when I'm like, nose mm -hmm. in this one, I get a bit of, like, I just envision a peach. Mm-hmm. Who knows why? <laughs> Ready for a sip? Yes. That one coats the mouth very nicely. It does. I have to get the second. I don't know. It, for you guys, when you're drinking your bourbon and whiskey at home, can you taste it on the first sip? Like, I can, but I can't. Like, it just mm -hmm. coats the mouth, but I'm not getting, like, anything out of it until I take the second and sometimes the third sip before I can really get into it. Mm -hmm. Does that happen to you? It does at times. Mm -hmm. um, this one is... A little bit lighter in my opinion. I'm not getting quite as much flavors up front. I am getting caramel on the finish. If I had to guess, I think this is smoke wagon. Mm. Like the way that the finish is happening, it's almost like like smoke filling your mouth. And I'm not saying it tastes smoky, but just like picture it. Mm -hmm. Like how it can fill. <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's just looking at me like, girl, you crazy. I, yeah. I'm not sure why Smoke Wagon is called Smoke Wagon either. I don't think they like specifically tried to make a smoky bourbon. I, I wonder so if it either. has something to do with, because they're in Nevada. Mm. Are, were those Oregon Trail 
um, things called smoke wagons. Oh, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Not even a little bit. But they have guns on their front. And, yeah, there you and, go. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are asking the wrong lady. I know nothing. Um, okay. I'm going to make my guesses. I think this is George Re Oh, shoot. I think it's the order that the bottles are in. Hmm. I think it's the order that the bottles are in. I wonder if that's happened soon. It definitely would be because I, um, you mix it up. We mix up the bottles, and then you also mix up the um, yeah. order. So, um, so should we go over first quickly? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just gonna do these two, and I want to do them opposite because I think these were my top two contenders. You know what I like about this blind? We've had blinds before where I really didn't enjoy some of them, mm -hmm. and this one, like, I could pick up any one of them. You know, when we're done with the video and be happy. Mm hmm I feel like the second one we drink, the nose, is bolder now and it's not coming after the first one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear the swishing in his mouth right now, but I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, everybody. I don't think they can hear you. I think that was just for my pleasure. <laughs> mm. We are making a lot of awkward noises right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll edit this portion out. Just kidding. I won't do that. That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, almost every one of these videos are shot live. Um, <laughs> we do very minimal editing, and it's just like you're in the room with us because we don't want to do tons of work to get a video out there for you. That's right. We got to do a live stream <laughs> soon, guys. Yes. Eric's been mentioning that for months, but I'm chicken. I am going to go with number two. Um, you know what? I am too. I like that nunniness. Um, so, quick disclaimer. This one here, this Old, um, Scout. Old Scout, is also MGP. And I didn't put it in here because it was a little more nutty flavor. And I was like, well, um, can't put it in there because that one will stand out. Um, I don't know which bottle this is. It must have opened up a little. Or it might be the Belle Neve. But I don't I think, it's think it is. You don't think so? <sighs> I'm not sure. But because when I initially tasted all of these, I did not get any nuttiness out of it. Mm. So that's the interesting part. I but I, I am going to go with number two. All right. Are you and ready for the reveal? I think it's Bell Mead. Probably, maybe. Okay. This is Penelope Smoke Wagon, George Remus. So the first one we tasted was bottle number one. And bottle number one was George Remus. I guess right! <laughs> All right, we're going to skip the one in second, and we're going to go to the third glass we tried. That was number two. Number two, so third glass, number yep. two was Smoke Wagon. Okay. So Smoke Wagon tastes more greeny. Huh, that um, is interesting because... That one's the four grain. Yeah, I really thought that one was Penelope. I did too. And it's not. Okay. So, <laughs> the fourth one we tried was bottle number three. Bottle number three was Bell Mead. <laughs> bottle number four? Was uh, Penelope. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, I would say this is the highest proof bottle. <laughs> That is so funny. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I really like Penelope as a company and I was mm -hmm. super nervous about this <laughs> because I was afraid that like we wouldn't like it as much and then it, that just blew me out of the water because I didn't think it was the one that won. Penelope, you make a good product. We've seen, oh, if you're in the Wisconsin area, we saw not only the regular Penelope but the barrel strength Penelope mm -hmm. at the store and also the rosé is here yeah too. and the rosé so you guys definitely get yourself out there and pick up a bottle we highly recommend yes um if you can't find it um this bell mead is also very good it was a yeah. tough choice for me between number two and four 
Yeah. I liked all of them. The whole thing was a tough choice. Mm -hmm. But the Penelope stood out just a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Get out there. Grab a bottle of each of these and you gotta try it. See if you like it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll post some pictures on our Instagram, the Babes of Bourbon. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, comment, watch the video all the way Absolutely. through. <laughs> well, if you're here, you did. Yeah, you did. So, I hope you guys have a great night, drink some bourbon, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Bye.